pike and shot warfare, using the strengths of one type of unit to cover the weaknesses of another. Pikemen can counter cavalry effectively but are destroyed by enemy ranged units. By combining pikes with ranged units, our formations can effectively deal with both cavalry and ranged as one cohesive formation. But can these tactics be used with medieval equipment such as bows and crossbows? Let's find out. We start this battle with 200 pikemen holding the center in loose formation and 150 crossbows on either wing, also in loose formation. After dozens of test battles, this was the best way to simulate pike and shot in Bannerlord. Loose formation accomplishes two things. It allows troops to freely move formations inside each other, and it allows most ranged units to shoot regardless of who's in front of them. We loose a couple volleys of bolts at the enemy infantry and pull back inside the pike formation before the cavalry approach. Geography gives us a helping hand on the right flank, mostly shielding our crossbows from the cavalry charge. Timing is certainly not optimal here as our crossbows get caught out, but overall the formation is performing really well. Zooming into the ground level, we can see several layers of crossbowmen taking shots at enemy infantry and cavalry, meaning they not only get protection from the pikes, but can still dish out damage at the same time. The enemy, realizing they need reinforcements, begin to pull back across the river. In order to maximize the efficiency of our ranged troops, we put both wings in front of the pikes, increasing our frontage. And since the enemy cavalry were mostly destroyed on the first contact, we don't have to worry as much about pulling back to safety of the pikes. Sadly, we see one of the biggest differences between medieval warfare and combat with firearms. The enemy shield wall blocks the vast majority of our bolts, and we're forced to pull back into the pike formation. We also see another phenomenon that wouldn't happen in real combat. Our crossbows are taking effective shots at enemy troops in melee combat with our pikes. In real life, the friendly fire in a situation like this would be horrendous and wouldn't be advised. Unless you're Ramsey Bolton, that is. Our crossbows whittle the enemy range units down and we take the victory. I decided to retest the battle and change up a couple things. We replace the crossbowmen with archers as they have a faster rate of fire. We upgrade the enemy cavalry to be all top tier cataphracts. And finally, we leave our ranged units inside of the pike formation from the start. This will cut down on travel time back to safety. Every second that they're moving is a second that they're not loosing arrows. The initial charge is devastating and we lose a significant number of our troops. However, on their second charge from the rear, we take less casualties and inflict more casualties of our own. And by the third charge, they've lost more than half of their elite cataphract division. Once again, the enemy pulls back and we meet them in the river, which entirely negates the cavalry advantage. The cataphracts quickly melt away, followed by whatever trash infantry they had left, and finally their severely outmatched range units. Now the real question is, does this work in vanilla Bannerlord without the RBM mod? Only one way to find out. We start the battle separated, but pull the crossbows in quickly enough for protection. The initial charge hits hard, but cavalry are much less effective without the RBM mod, and they don't manage a single kill. Nope, still not a single kill. I'm not really sure what's going on, but vanilla cavalry are definitely trash. However, pikemen are notoriously bad against anything but cavalry in vanilla, and they quickly melt away to the enemy infantry, forcing us to split our crossbows to either side of the enemy charge. Their infantry still managed to cause massive casualties on our right flank, but we've done enough damage in the earlier stages of the battle to hold on to a lead through to the end. And in case you were wondering, the champions do even better in this situation, as you can see in another battle. Not only can they handle the cavalry, but they dominate the infantry in melee combat as well. Our Fians scored more than 10 times more kills than the pikemen in combat. So to answer the question from the start, can pike and shot warfare work in a medieval setting? Well, sort of. Without friendly fire in a Bannerlord setting, it definitely can work. However, if we add in realistic combat mechanics that don't exist in Bannerlord, I think this tactic would break down pretty severely. And to top it all off, gunpowder weapons have no problem piercing shield walls, making shielded infantry an effective counter to this tactic. If you'd like to see more realistic tactics used in a video game setting, check out this playlist right here. A huge shout out to all the Patreons and YouTube members who help support this channel. Thank you so much.